has quality control. <laughs> My name is Lavinia de Voglio. Three years ago I started La Voglio Boutique Confectionery. I have uh, a nine-year career as an investment banker before I even thought about doing anything food related. I basically found myself wanting a change and I consider myself really lucky of having had that experience of working for, for nine years for an investment bank but it wasn't defining who I am and when I had that chance, the idea of taking like a, a white blank sheet and then redesigning basically what was my career. The first thing that I did was to go to back to the kitchen. For me I always had this passion for food. I grew up in a farm where everything we had for, for dinner or for lunch was basically somehow from our farm. When I was in banking I still would cook a lot but then when I stopped my, my financial career the first thing I did I went to train as a, as a chef because for me it made sense. I thought I was going to become a restaurateur or a patissier but I still was in the kitchen having so much fun making things that that's what got me started and, and having had the idea of this using the sugar coating as a natural preservative which is a age-old traditional technique that's used uh, traditionally to make uh, sugared almonds. What I did was playing with different also textures, so it's not only the different flavors that you find in Arabian Nights, but it's also uh, the crunchy, the soft, the juicy, and when you open the tin, um, you can actually see that nestled into the glassine paper, you have so many different types of, of shapes, and uh, you can go from something quite small and petite like this sugar-coated uh, rose water jelly to a real pine nut that is a pine nut that has been sugar-coated. Food markets gave me the, um, the experience to see that actually um, so many customers actually really loved it and enjoyed it and wanted to gift it so the whole concept of the brand and the packaging makes it really really gifty is the second step and then from there I also learned um, how to go from having a product to having a product sold in other stores so now we supply 400 different farm shops, delis, gift stores all around the country do a little bit abroad as well um, so yeah I mean this is something that I didn't really specifically plan but I learned how to do it and I think that's key you know I learn something new every single day Another one inspired by the floral nature of Turkish delight. It's a jelly again made with uh, apple peel, so it's completely vegetarian with um, um, that juiciness to it. So it's got a hard shell, but then once you crunch, you bite into it, it becomes soft and I'm just seven. <laughs> to be honest, you know, I'm obsessed with, uh, with my product, but I also um, you know, I do this job every day with this so much passion because I see the reaction that I get in, in customers and I think putting their experience at the centre is what makes a huge difference. This is my take on the Indian after dinner treats but inside, instead of having a, a little aniseed, it's got um, a coffee bean. So the bitterness of the coffee is the last thing you taste. So first you taste the sweetness, then it's the aniseed, and then finally you crunch through the coffee bean, and then that's the beautiful bitterness Italian coffee that, that, that stays in your mouth. So this is a, also, we call it sometimes a coffee digestive. The biggest challenge as, a, as, a, as an entrepreneur for myself is, I guess, the lonely factor, the fact that you are on your own and you have to take every decision, so sometimes you don't really know what you're, I mean, a lot of the times I, don't, I know where I want to be, but I don't really know in the immediate what is it that I should, what is the decision that is the right decision in that, in that moment. So that part I find it quite challenging uh, because um, yeah, it's continuous, but also what I find uh, is the right attitude or how I, I, or how I basically sleep soundly at night is that um, I really believe that I'm learning something new every day. So how, how do you establish your credibility? I mean, of course you need to be completely meticulous on time, uh, competent, you need to know everything about your competitors, not only yourself and your product, do your homework, so the, you know, the list is endless. But yes, so that is a must. You must, do, you must set the bar really, really high on, on yourself and on your team. And building a team, I guess, that's a, another, it's not really a skill, it's something you learn and you make mistakes and you learn. And, um, 
but that's you know having the right people around you make a world of difference and every entrepreneur that is building a growing business will tell you the same you know fruit garden is a more refreshing less chocolatey i would say box and it's made with real fruit pieces the idea of this is that it's wonderful for example with a cheese board after dinner so decadent spices um, the I guess my signature collection. One of my customers uh, once called it an exotic bird's nest. <laughs> but yeah, these are the, the spiky almond. It's the one with almond, unrefined sugar, cinnamon and honey. The, the honey is great. And then the red one, the fairy one, um, are pistachios uh, with uh, chili chocolate. So Nutty Forest is our best seller, which is nutty and chocolatey. But what's beautiful about it is that it's not just nuts and chocolate, it's got all these different textures. So you do have almonds, hazelnut, pistachios, but you also have the white chocolate, the dark chocolate, and also the janduya chocolate. Um, you also have pistachio with vanilla. You will see someone really loves the pebbly one, someone goes crazy for the pistachio uh, with the vanilla, and then uh, maybe your friend is, uh, likes the green one. You know, it's all about trying all the different flavors and deciding what's your favorite.